for the entrance. Let us take him number 13 on page 4. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered in this church this morning to celebrate the Holy Eucharist offered by Goa Police Motor Transport Section. While we thank the Lord for all his blessings and graces bestowed on the staff, we implore that we may serve all the people, forgetting ourselves and living in the footsteps of our Lord. May all our staff members and all those participating in this Mass be blessed and filled with the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in worthy manner. With contrite heart, let us say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. This Mass is offered by Goa Police Motor Transport Section in thanksgiving by SP, Device P, PI, PSI, mechanics, drivers and all the office staff. Let us pray for them that God may bless them with good health of mind and body. Let us also put forth our intentions before the Lord. Let us pray those who are celebrating their birthdays, their wedding anniversaries. Let us also pray those who are sick, suffering, lonely. Especially pray for the peace in the world. And we continue to pray for the affected areas of our state, our country, those who have lost their homes due to this rain, 
and all the other natural calamities that are happening. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you, as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created, and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the prophet Nahum. Behold, upon the mountains the feet of him who brings good news, who publishes peace. Keep your feast, O Judah, fulfill your vows, for never again shall the worthless pass through you. He is utterly cut off, for the Lord is restoring the majesty of Jacob. As the majesty of Israel, for plunders have plundered them and ruined their grudges. O oh, to the bloody city, all full of lies and plunder. No end to the prey, the crack of the whip and the rumble of the wheel. Galloping horse and bounding chariot, horsemen charging, flashing sword and glittering spear, host of slain, heaps of corpses, dead bodies without end, they stumble over the bodies. I will throw filth at you and treat you with contempt and make you a spectacle. And all who look at you will shrink from you and say, Wasted in Nineveh, you will grieve for her. Where shall I seek comforters for you? The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response. It is I who deal death and give life. Please repeat. It, it is, is I who give death and, and give, give life. life. For the day of their calamity is at hand, and their doom comes swiftly. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. Your response? It, it is, is I who give death, death and, and give life. life. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God beside me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Response? It is, it is I, I who give death, death and, and give life. life. If I sharpen my flesh's flashing sword and my hands takes hold on judgment, I will take vengeance on my adversaries and will repay those who hate me. A response? It is, it is I, I who give death, death and, and give life. life. Please stand for the explanation. Persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? For the Son of Man is going to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay each person according to what he has done. Truly I say to you, 
there are some standing here who will not test death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus knows that tough times makes us even stronger and so he told his disciples, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. They were perplexed to hear him say this and could not understand what he was talking about. And the disciples were thinking like many Christians of today who believe that as long as you are faithful believer, everything will be perfect for you. Prominent philosophers describe suffering as an, as an existential reality. And Saint Paul says, God did not spare his own son from suffering, but gave him up for all of us. Jesus teaches us that there is no glory except to the way of the cross. He teaches us about redemptive suffering and that suffering can also bear good fruits. And it is said, no pain, no gain, no cross, no crown. So let us pray and ask the grace in this Eucharist today to accept our pain and suffering that we, that we go through. Let us pray for the same grace in this Mass. For the offer tree, let us take him number 123. Kindly stand. Let us put before our prayers before the Lord. For all our church leaders that like Jesus, they may serve the people of God by reaching out to all their needs, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all our staff members of the Goa Police Motor Transport Section, that they may be always at the service of the people, serving them with a joyful heart, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all those participating in the Mass, that they may be truly inspired, by the teaching of the Jesus to forget themselves, to carry their daily cross, and thus follow into his footstep. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For the offertory, let us take him number 123 on page 34. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, 
and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make offers an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy play, people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we when eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the health us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Philip, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, be free. That be the best Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs with eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is 
is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you Lamb take away God, the sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof, but Holy only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For communion, let us take hymn number 168 on page 51. Blessed Lord will come. 
kindly stand. Let us pray, accompanying with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Number 221 on page 69. Do what he commands.